Hey, what's up everyone? Ashley here. Welcome to Ashley Talks Movies. So after many, many delays, the long overdue Black Widow movie has finally arrived in theaters and it's also available on Disney Plus with premier access if that's a better option for you. The story takes place between the events of Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War and finds Natasha, aka Black Widow, going on a very personal journey as she confronts her past. Now, before I get into the full review, a few things. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like button. I would appreciate that as well. And also, don't forget to jump into the comment section. Share your thoughts about Black Widow, the MCU, Marvel. I would really love to know your thoughts. Okay, so on to the review. So as I mentioned before, Black Widow finds Natasha going on a very personal journey. It's a journey of revenge. It has her confronting her past, but it also finds her reuniting with the only family she's ever known outside of the Avengers. And these are characters that we're just getting introduced to in this particular film. Now, Scarlett Johansson is the main draw for this movie. She's been playing Black Widow for years now. Um, you know, her character is pretty well established within the MCU. So... This movie exists to kind of fill in a little bit of the gaps um, in this, you know, mysterious ca character's um, history. And like I said, she's the main draw for this movie. She does such a great job with the character. She's been doing a great job with the character. That's not even a question. Um, but for me, watching this movie, um, and again, I mentioned those new characters would be introduced, um, her family. Um, Florence Pugh, who plays Elena, who is kind of like Natasha's sister, surrogate kind of sister, um, is really the standout in this movie. Uh, she does such a fantastic job with her character. Her character is given a lot to do. You know, she's very likable. She's funny. She's tough. Um, and Florence Pugh knocks it out of the park. I mean, just absolutely amazing and easily um, is one of the best things about this movie. And she has some of the best scenes in, the, in this movie. I mean, she really does a, a great job. And like I said, she's given a, a lot to do in this movie. Some of the other characters, David Harbour uh, plays this, you know, former Russian agent. Um, and uh, Rachel Weisz uh, is sort of like the mother figure in, in the family group. And they both do a really good job with their characters. Um, although David Harbour is given a lot more to do than Rachel Weisz. And he has some really funny moments, um, some really humorous moments. And, and him, along with Florence Pugh, have some of the best funny moments in the movie um, by far. Now, look, Black Widow is a perfectly decent film. It's, it's good. It's not great. It's not the best Marvel movie uh, out there. It's certainly not the worst. It's just kind of in between. Um, there are some moments that really work really well in this movie. And there's some things that could have been improved. Um, as far as what works, uh, again, the acting, as I mentioned, you know, Scarlett Johansson and Florence Pugh, David Harper, all those actors do such an amazing job with their characters. They are really good actors. And I mean, thankfully, because they, the character moments and the acting performances in this movie are so strong and really are the things that deliver in this movie again especially the character elements you know that whole family dynamic that they create um the tension there um the revealing of those you know the past regrets and feelings like all that works really well in this movie the action sequences are also really good although there are a few action sequences that are a bit choppy um they're not as well done as some of the other scenes in in the movie uh there may be a little too obvious uh, with the CGI, um, and some of the fight scenes seem a bit choppy. And honestly, the story is pretty good. I mean, this this could have been one of those movies, and you know, some people will probably disagree. This could have been one of those movies that you know, considering how long it took to come out, um, and where it takes place in the MCU timeline, that you know, it doesn't really offer anything new with Natasha's story, other than introducing you know these new characters that I mentioned. But it still feels like a Black Widow story in that nothing seems so out of place with the story, if that makes any sense. Like, it feels like a Black Widow story. It does introduce some new characters, but those new characters feel like they would be part of Natasha's 
history. Um, so for me, the story worked. It's not the best story. You know, I think it could have had some improvements here and there, but it, it's perfectly fine. It's decent. It works. Now, what doesn't really work for me in this movie uh, is, a, is a thing that many Marvel movies have suffered from, uh, and that's the villain. I, the villains sometimes can be very weak in Marvel movies, um, and this is another one of those examples. Um, you have Taskmaster, which is a very interesting character, like concept for a villain, uh, but they don't really do much with this character in terms, of, like they don't really go in a interesting or unique direction with this character. It, it, it does come off a little formulaic. Um, and how this particular villain is used uh, within the story is kind of, it leaves a few things to be desired. It, it, the trailers make it, this character look really, really menacing. And in the movie, it doesn't really come across that way. But, you know, honestly, for me, the biggest problem with this movie is that, you know, it, it, it does feel like, uh, you know, it should have come out several years ago. Um, that is no question. And because of where it takes place uh, within the time, like if you've seen Endgame, you know what happens to Black Widow, okay? You know how her story, what happens with her, her story. So to then come to this movie, at, you know, which takes place before those events, but you know what's going to happen. For me, the stakes were just not there with Natasha's character. And no time at all throughout this movie did I feel that she was actually in any danger, would be hurt, that anything would happen to her because we know what's going to happen and we know it's not going to happen in this movie. So, you know, ultimately it, it, it's a good movie, has good action, good characters, um, you know, good performances, uh, but it, it just doesn't rise to that level uh, of like greatness. So those are my thoughts on Black Widow. Again, it's now in theaters and available on Disney Plus with Premiere Access. If you've seen the film and you want to share your thoughts, you can do so in the comment section below. I would love to hear what all of you think about Black Widow, about this movie, um, whether you liked it, you didn't like it, what did you think of the new characters that were introduced. So share those thoughts with me in the comments below. While you're here, like this video, hit that thumbs up button, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.